This is day 14 of my journey to breaking the 400 meter school record. And before I go into detail with what I did today, I want to talk to y'all about my sponsor of my video today, which is Duality. And Duality is essentially a calorie tracker. And basically what you do is it'll be able to track, it'll be able to um, scan your food and accurately tell you how many calories between each group, like proteins, dairy, whatever it is, it'll tell you how many calories are in your food. So you don't have to go through the process of having to use like a scale to like calculate the grams and all that. It'll just make your life way more easier. And it comes in a bunch of different colors, which is pretty cool. And it just makes your life easier. Whether you're trying to gain weight like me or lose weight like some other people, this is definitely a must have product. So if I were you, I would definitely cop one. I'll put in the links of all, I'll put the link in all my descriptions of all my previous videos too. And in some of the comments, so make sure you look out for that. But uh, yeah, check out Duality and let's get on to the workout. So today I finally hit the gym again after a few days and I'm not sore no more. So that's good. And I made today an explosive workout, like really focusing on getting my explosiveness. So I started off with some quarter squat. Yeah, quarter squats for three sets of five. And you can go down and you should really like when you're coming down, you don't have to come up and down fast. You just got to come up fast. So you can go down as slow as you want and then explode up as fast as you can. So I started off my first set with 135, something light, you know, and then I moved on to 180, not 185. I moved on to 205. And then after 205, I did 215. And not going to lie, the 215, like those last two reps, I kind of had to push through, but I'm. it's just because I haven't lifted in a minute. Like, that's, I know I can lift heavier than that. So, the more I do this workout, the heavier I should get. Like, I think eventually I'm going to try to get to at least doing, like, 235 for five on quarter squats. Eventually. Which I should be able to get, like, in a month or so. Really in a few weeks if I stay with this consistently. But, like, in a few weeks, 235 I'm going to hit. But then I moved on to power clean after quarter squats. And I started off, I did three sets of five. And usually when I do power cleans, I do three sets of three. So I didn't want to start off too heavy. So I just did 115 just to see where I'm at. And the 115 was light. So then I added, uh, I only added a five. I didn't want to still, I didn't want to go too crazy. So I added a five. And then I did those. And it was a, it was a little heavier, but it wasn't that much heavier. So I thought, all right, I can definitely do 135, which is what I usually start off with for three sets of three. So I did 135 for three sets of five as well. Then I moved on to drop down box jumps. And these are one of the most recommended um, plow metrics that I would give y'all. It really helps your explosiveness. And then after the drop downs, I just did regular box jumps. And for the drop downs, you do them for three sets of five each leg or 10 in total and then on regular box jumps i just did 10 three sets of 10 and then after box jumps i moved on to wall switches and this this will help you this is like another good drill like we used to do this during track season all the time and i'm i, I can't explain it but it just it helps your knee drive and all that just i really recommend doing this especially during the season like at practice even if y'all don't do them as a group or something Try to get these in. You just do them for like twenty seconds, and you're you're gonna get you're gonna see improvement in your speed. And then after the wall switches, I just ended my workout with some cycling. Nothing too crazy, not super pushing myself, just cooling my body down, slowing my heart rate down, and stuff like that. And I did it for about three minutes, and then that was it. And then I went home.